And now on CRN Radio, it's time for Silver Moments with Dr. Marsha Baltimore. And now, here's Dr. Baltimore. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. This morning, I'm going to give us the most important topic we can think about as seniors, and that is grandparenting. One of our joys in life is that we are grandparents, so we have to have the laws in our mind for grandparents, the behaviors we should adopt as grandparents, and then the relationship we we want to develop with each and every one of the grandchildren. If you want to call in and ask a question on anything about grandparenting, call at 800-336-2225. Once again, 800-336-2225. What I want to start out with today uh, is the Uniform Child Custody Act in the United States of America. And I want to tell you about it so you know what we're working under legally. Uh, the legal word for a parenting agreement is legal custody. The parent has legal custody, not the grandparent. And so there are two types of custody, legal and the other one is physical. Visitation rights come when the non-custodial parent or the grandparent spends time with the child, and that time is determined by state, not federal, but by state law. And all states specifically provide grandparents the right to ask for a visitation as part of the court order when the parents are getting divorced. The number of the act is number 1738A, it's called the Uniform Child Custody Jurisdiction Enforcement Act, and it's registered number 28 USC, United States Congress, 17.38A. Where did I get all of that? You want to know about all of that? I got all of that in a book called Building a Parenting Agreement That Works by a woman named Myrna Zimmelman. Zimmelman. She quotes the law in there. And the NOLO Press published her work with a copyright of 1995, and I'm just going to review a few pieces of the law from her book. If you want it, you can get it in any library, because people have to know the rights. And for grandparents, we do not have rights unless the parents grant them. I said it correctly. The parents have the rights. They grant them. There's another inf piece of information possibly you might want to know, that the purpose of the Act, 28 U.S.C. 17.38a, the purpose of that is to ensure that each parent maintain a relationship with the extended family. And the court must grant the grandparents visitation following a divorce or following a separation between the mother and the father of the children. So parents and grandparents are all under that law, and the court has final say. You can't just barge in, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to tell you, if there's a divorce. Now, the other thing is sometimes there's a stopgap in the divorce, and it, can't, it has to take longer than they expect. So we have a new thing which we'll tell you after the break called Odd Leadum coming up. <laughs> 